Hello my dudes and welcome back to some more Fallout 4 Horizon. Okay, so I reckon we should definitely have a snooze. So it is late enough in the day. Alright, let's go and find a bed. Go and have a snooze and get back to it. The main goal is getting down to Grey Garden. So we can get some bots. Right, sleep for a sneaky 10. Wake up in that 5 in the morning. Early bird gets the woe. Yep, they're a bit thirsty. If we can actually take on those dudes up there. No, that's right. I need to double barrels one, service pistols two. Yeah. I don't want that. Uh, we want this. Uh, we use the junk shells to begin with. And you take thirty-eight rounds. Looking forward to using this pistol. Might be able to get a couple of the dudes down here. Wonder if we'll get anybody trying to jump down on us again. Somebody else did fall down. 357 revolver, communication backpack. Yeah, we got some combat armor. How did that work again? They just happened to path off the side trying to get to us. I wonder if we can get them with any distant shots. Surely there's an angle that we can get where we can see one of them. Oh shit. That didn't work. for there, but it is weakened. We should be able to do this. Oh no. The bridge hasn't loaded properly. Um... Yes, please. La 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 la. Make sure we don't get any any stupid copyright coming up because of like two seconds of audio. Just dun dun. Yeah, there we go. Bridge has been loaded properly. The 
McLant, Snapkin. Hey, we got some combat armor. We can't scrap any of these anymore. And chemistry. Is anyone else lingering around here? Honestly, thought we might have been screwed trying to do this, but we did it. Yeah, this is definitely not a place where we can just scurry down the side again. How many headshots? Headshots served. One, two, three, four, five, twenty, twenty-eight. Twenty-eight kills. Be kind of cool if there was just like randomly like within line of sight of this just 28 random bodies that just had their heads exploded or something like that add an extra layer of detail to the area ah oh, this will be good exp over here uh, though we don't have uh the ammo to take that on. Yeah, we definitely don't have the ammo to take on that area. Is that a place that I can discover? No, there's nothing coming up on the compass. Oh yeah, here we go. Here's the arc chat systems. I suppose we could probably go and do some of the Brotherhood. And that'll be some easy EXP for us to get. It's down to the. Just trying to remember exactly where Grey Garden is. Five tour, so it's a Grey Garden homestead. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is to the west of Grey Garden. get in there dog mate you're defying the laws of physics Come on, 
wants to attack. There's lots of good stuff in here. Fertilizer. And crystal. Gauge. All right, cool. We got everything out of here. Nice. Right, well, we know where a bit of uh, easy crystal is, like straight off the bat. Go to Sunshine Tidings Co-op in your own playthrough and you want to make a settlement beacon. It's coming down to here. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. Yeah, here we go. Grey Garden's just here. Supervisor Green. Leather, fertilizer, wood. Flame of fuel. Okay. Ready to begin your fabulous shopping spree? You sound like a game show host. That's the correct answer. Well done. Ladies and gentlemen, should we tell the lucky contestant what fabulous prize he's won? Okay. Show me what I've won. Right this way, please. Let's take a look at your fabulous prize. What have you got for me? Where are you going? Is that it? It's a brand new car! Wow! Now, if you've already got the latest in sleek, stylish, atomic-powered automation, you can also take your winnings in the form of a cash prize! How does 100 cap sound? Yeah, sure. I'll take the cash prize. Here you go! And if you want to use your winnings to make a few purchases from Robco, we certainly won't complain. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, it's been a real pleasure. Thanks for playing! Cool. Okay, just 100 caps off the bat. You need a serious amount of glass for that. Okay. Bring Supervisor Brown. And they'll be capped for your pocket. Off you go then. Andy. Yeah, Welcome here it is. Grey Garden, darling. This is the Commonwealth's first and only hydroponics facility run entirely by robots. It's pretty ingenious. I bet you can work around the clock. Of course, darling. Our unique hierarchy allows for constant operation. You see, there are two kinds of robots here. The worker drones carry out labor and maintenance. We supervisors, that is myself, green and brown, possess sophisticated cognition processors. We are capable of complex analysis and decision making. A testament to the genius of our creator, Dr. Edward Gray. I remember him. He was one of Robco's senior engineers, but more than a little eccentric. You seem a bit confused, darling. 
You're far too young to remember anything that happened before the war. I was in a vault. They put me in cryogenic freeze. Remarkable! I must say, darling, you seem very well preserved. Now, where was I? Robotics and artificial intelligence were our creator's great passions, rivaled only by his love of television. Perhaps you've noticed that I possess a rather singular personality, as do the other supervisors. Well, it's definitely unique. Sort of hard to miss. I'll take that as a compliment, darling. After all, the last thing any woman wants to be is ordinary. A few other things you should know. Talk to Green, if you need supplies. If it's caps you require, Brown might have a few odd jobs. Ah, uh, there's one other thing. A question, really. Tell me, darling. What do you think of the water around here? It's awful. <laughs> Isn't it, though? Pressure's down, radiation is up. Why, it's practically toxic. Just think what it must be doing to my skin. This will never do. I don't mean to impose, darling, but perhaps you could lend us a hand. What's in it for me? Trust me, darling. I can make it worth your while. Most of our water comes from the old western plant, south of here. Such an eyesore. Be a dear and pay a visit, hmm? See what you can do. Maybe tidy up the place. It must be filthy. If you can get it working again, I'm sure I can come up with something for you. Nice. <coughs> Okay, that's what we want. Troubled waters. Oh no, no, no. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Save is corrupt. I didn't mean to steal your stuff. I'm sorry. She. She. I don't know what to do. Do I have to revert save? See what happens after they kill me. No, I'll have to load the save. Damn. Thankfully, there should be one. This one should work just before I stole the, stole the pot. Maybe. Oh, thank God. No. Don't steal it. No stealing. Brown, darling. I need you to pick something up for me the next time a trader visits. Yes. What's that then? Don't you Okay, so Sunshine Tidings is there. Um, we can go north, clear out a little bit of that area. Get a bit of EXP, because how far off a uh, level are we? Yeah, not too far off. <clears throat> yeah, let's go north. Check out around here. Do a little bit of questing and looting. Legendary. What are you gonna give me? Mutated leather hide. Okay. Cool. Some good stuff.
You alright, dog meat? Nice right, so when you harvest them, they sort of spit out a glowing plume. It's interesting. Locksmithing skills getting up there. No mini nuke. No auto hackers. Okay, we got some survival skill out of that. A buttload of rads too. Any other mole rats gonna pop out of the ground around here? to those ones. Hold on to the combat armor as well. We don't need three of them though. T45. Yeah, that stuff can get scrapped. Some ballistic fiber out of the combat armor, which is nice. And then... Do some junk scrapping whilst I think of it. Yeah, so this place is cleared out. Go through Concord, clear it out as well. Should be a decent amount of cockroaches around here. Get off that wall. Get him dog meat. Show him who's boss. Here we go, Lexington, not Concord. And if you hear a little bit of tapping in the background, it's uh, my cat playing around with some stuff. So here we go, laundromat.
We've definitely got to come through here when we have greater salvaging skill. So this is a, a good EXP haul. before we get out of here. So, so far I'm really, really enjoying the changes to 1.9.4. You can see the basic concept come through in like 1.9.3 and then they've really, really polished it up a little bit. Really like the UI elements that they've got going on, the color coding. It's awesome. I wonder what it um looks like when I remove the 4K map and the no more monochrome like at a uh, mod that I've got enabled. It makes it so that there's color and stuff in the Pip Boy. Lots of tableware and stuff over here and basic circuitry. I cannot wait until I have Wilson upgraded. Oh, speaking of. Hey Wilson. I'm over encumbered. Hey, little buddy. Okay. Move the filter junk. Get rid of these guns as well. Give on to them or hold on to them for much, much later. I know that more than likely the combat arm is going to take some decent tailoring skill to get it sorted out. No, you don't weigh anything. I don't need to transfer you. Get rid of the mods though, 357 rounds, 3845s. Get rid of the mini nuke as well. What else can I do? That's local leader 1, 2, it's command missions, transport filter. Auto transport requires workshop technology 1. So workshop technology one is for area scavenging as well. Okay. Go. Now, so they're making it so that Wilson is like a, uh, a standard staple for any character. Interesting. Actually, so you needed, yeah, just workshop technology one. Okay. Made Wilson a lot more accessible. I'm trying to remember, is this the exit for the quest? Yeah, it is. There's an elevator behind there that's the end of a quest line. Well, not a quest line, but a quest. A dungeon. Now, would we call it like a raid? A dungeon? A raid? Are you 
checking something. You're still there, Wilson. Okay. Get all the tableware out of this place. Oh, there's not a gun there anymore, just a single round. these guys just yet. Come on. Come on. Come on. Miss just then. There we go. Souvenir magnet cap. Thing out of the little cooler containers and shit. Dog meat, can you just fucking chill out, man? Hey. Where are you running to? You fucking gone crazy. <laughs> Hunting skills up there. Do I have anything in the way of cures? Mentats, give us many illnesses, poison, parasites. Of some healing. Oh, wait, we're, we're hungry. Yeah, it's alright. Get some healing out of it. Should probably hack that console and get the EXP, but meh. It's fine.
Yeah, we need the AXP, we need to get to level 15. Still got 10 more levels to go before we can make actual robots, so we'll have to try and get every single little bit that we can potentially get. I wonder if um, setting up some of those, uh, I can't remember what the um, DLC is called, but the traps. You can set up traps for like raiders and like mole rats and shit. Set up a few of them and do like an EXP farm. Yeah, we could probably have a look into that. Be interesting to do. First things first, we'll go through the super duper mart. Kill all these ghoulies. And let's go through and kill everything first, and then we'll do some harvesting and looting and shit. You did. You're dead. You're dead. Dead, dead, dead. Nothing from you. And screenplay. Hide. Okay. Nice. Cult. Yeah, cool. Powering up. Protectron on duty. Yeah, let's go through, kill everything, and then loot. Out of bobby pins. Attention, citizens. You may now resume your normal activity. <laughs> and order has prevailed. Did you kill him all, bro? Any more left? Oh. 
And that's them. That's them all dead. Oh, he's just standing up. Okay. Alright, time to loot. Okay. We'll go from left to right. Magazines are randomly around here. Hey, get away. Uh, that's one thing that we forgot to grab also. We're in Sanctuary. Forgot to grab Codsworth. Some beers in there. Give me the frickin' beer. Where'd the other one go? Oh, it's gone. And you've been harvested. Gum drops. stuff out of that don't have any bobby pins things goes up 47 oh yeah your dirty IV bag what a find Lost any XP for persuading men. Okay. I do like how the important stuff is uh is glowing pill bottle. And the accessibility of uh Horizon is getting up there into the stage where it doesn't feel like a massively uh, niche mod feels like a, uh, a DLC or a Fallout 4.5 like, well, it's getting to the stage where it's pretty much like a remaster did all that business make sure we get the stuff that's in the corner over here I 
Smash cram. in here, nothing in there. Okay. I believe that's everything out here. Go through here, make sure we get everything. Mm. Nice amount of right away. Might as well use that whilst we're looting and scooting about here and there's no enemies. Josh's tape. Yeah, let's we'll scrap the rest. Ooh, salvaging business. Hey. Uh, dog meat, get out of here. I'm trying to loot. Jeez, what are you doing, Kenzie? Falling asleep on the top of my computer and almost rolling off by the sounds of things? Don't, don't mess with my computer, or I mess with you. Hmm? Oh, get out of the way. Out of the way. Keep moving. You're right in the way of my mouse position, Kenzie. Go. If I don't go on the keyboard, you go in. Go in your cat tree. There we go. Good girl. All right. What are we doing? Uh, yes. There might be some more ghoulies. Just trying to bait them. So this dog. So this dog, mate. You right, boy? Big harvest here. Mm, intact fusion core, that's very nice.
Come on. Get out of the window. So you definitely know that I have done this a very many number of times. Game was trying to scare me then. It's like, eh, yeah, it's a ghoul. And yeah, yeah, it's just a ghoul climbing through a window that can't do shit. You just run over to it and just smack it a few times. Anything left around here? I think got some harvest. And all that business going on. I think that was the basement as well that we need to go through. Get some simple tools from here. Get some kitchen tools as well. Gonna be able to make a lot of workbenches. For every single settlement that we find. We just keep branching down south. Connecting all of our settlements together. And we get a whole heap of... We get a craftsman, technician, and engineers going on. I'm pretty sure, because we'll just have robots, we probably don't have to worry about like, supply kits and shit. Until later when we get extra bonuses, we're mainly going to have to supply ourselves with uh, tools. That's the main thing that we're going to have to do. Lots and lots and lots of common tools. So sending out our bots. Go and hunt for us and craft and salvage We should have some people to fight around here. Okay, we are very hungry. Where are you? No, Tarrant, don't kill me. She... Stairs or something? Oh, that's where you are. That's alright. Ain't my first fight either. Custom bolt action rifle. Mm, nice.
you can't scrap them either. Unless I need the scrapping skill to be able to do the tyrants as well. Or it's just been removed as a, um, a uh, scrapping capability. Because you did get a lot of the XP from scavenging them. Energy weapons, nice. Fusion cells. Mm, a decent amount of shit there. Alright, so let's have a look at... Do some junk scrapping. There's actually any loot around here. Uh, not much by the looks of it. You see that shit? Crossing was right on his head. Come on. Wild tar berries. Let's scrap all this business. Harvest these tar berries as well. Eventually, we'll get some of the, uh, the planted ones. I'll be sitting in our inventory for ages, those wilds. You're upstairs, aren't you, you prick? So I can harvest in stealth, in stealth and stay in stealth. Build time. Let's do some junk. Let's have a look at field scout wrapping. A little sledgehammer. Definitely want that over the machete. So we'll use it later on when we have the big swing. Uh, the um, the big leagues so are perk. So it means that we'll be hitting everything that's in front of us with a two-handed weapon with every swing. stuff can get scrapped and we'll summon Wilson as well the bolt action. Nah, it's alright. 
Hold on to it for later. Oh, oh. Want those eye glasses still. Harvested, harvested. Hunting backpack too. Sneak up on this dude. That's ghouls. Type transmitter and circuitry. Mm. That's cool. Shit, I forgot about Mini Nuke Man. That's the second time in this playthrough that I've been killed by a Mini Nuke. A guy in power armor and a Mini Nuke. Need help here. Should have been crouching. Scoozy. Stage where um oh, I need to stand up. Uh, which settlement are we being taken to? Ah, cool. Okay. Forty bottle caps to come back. That's right. Small price to pay. Take all that out. I'm going to make sure we get a planer. down. Move the default. And lots of gristled meat. Send out a whole heap. It's 
store all the junk and chuck away these weapons. Don't need them. Combat armor can go away. I'm surprised at Hunting backpack to have a look at that one. Yeah, I like the hunting backpack. Have a look at the armor workbench and see if there's anything we can take these mods off. mask I can't put anything else on Whoa, groovy okay so technology wise get some harvesting done Ooh, leadership skill okay Okay, so we are getting leadership skill. Cool. Workshop harvesting is going up. Alright, so let's have a look. We'll do a... Take a resource station with us. For when we're exploring. make power cells quite easily. Make an auto hacker, make one a few of them as well. Slowly work towards that advanced circuitry. Chemistry and medical. Okay, so when it comes to technology or training, chemistry 60, engineering, science. Okay, chemistry, engineering, and science. That's the main things that we need. Okay, so we can do repeated sessions of the same one to keep upgrading it. Okay. So depending on which one we want to specialize in to begin with. So I think that engineering is the one that we want. Yeah, cool. So we'll spend, so seeing as we got to level 5, we got our 4 extra perks on top as well, so we can go through, we've got to wait till level 15 for that. So engineering, is it 60, and then salvaging and metalworking. Yeah, we'll get that one. The well, next one of that is at level 10. We'll get a trading level. OK, 
Okay, and that's going to take two. Oh, we can have a look at getting some science. Science and get some basic chemistry as well. Get the hacking later. Alright, survival is now at 70, hunting is 40, science is 30, salvaging is 50, engineering is 40, no, 9, trading is at 20, chemistry is at 28, metalworking is at 38. Okay, cool. Contracted work for cargo bots, okay. Just need advanced circuitry. Okay, so weapons wise, getting close to where we'll have to invest some levels into gunsmithing. Or our weapons are break completely. Kill chemistry and medical. Make some first aid for ourselves. Make some rad shoe as well. Traction from that. Make a skeeto tonic as well. Supplies, make some sanitized water with the chlorine that we just made. Make ourselves a wasteland burger as well. Make use of those Salisbury steaks. a couple of them getting to the stage where we're feeling a little bit more self-sufficient and I feel like we could definitely bring out the old uh, cranky anchor make some heavy fusion cells let's see if we can turn that thing the laser musket into a sniper for ourselves. And laser musket, you get a lock of yellow. Good condition. Eh, yeah, cool. Got science. Blame focuser. Let me get that one for sure. Dot sight. Get a modular scope for it.
Make it so they use heavy fusion cells. And no, we don't want the gray. Get a different scope for it a little bit later on. Okay, so what we'll do is we will put you as four. Cool. I like this. Run around with that thing for sure. I suppose we probably just completely avoid doing gunsmithing. But we do need to make some ammo. So we've done cooking and supplies. We'll look at weapons and ammo. Oh, carbon fiber. Oh. And... Yeah, it looks like we've got gunsmithing high enough that we can make some 30 rate rounds. Make 40 of them. Make 40 of them. And we'll make 20 of that as well. Leave them as a backup for later. So energy wise... Conversion fusion cells, not okay. We'll take the energy cells for sure. So fusion cells, so we got science high enough to be able to make our own ammo if you want to. Cool, okay. We could disassemble some ammo, ammo, but we don't need to. I'm thinking maybe go on the um, vice rifles and stuff like that. Be a combination of ballistic and also um, energy. That's alright, we can focus on that stuff a little bit later. We can make a decision. We know we're going to be doing robotics like to begin with. It's the main thing. Uh, so technology and workshop. Just trying to remember. So devices... Okay. Deploys one of your engineer devices. Attack dog. Okay, so we need advanced circuitry to get that one going on. Guess we want engineer devices. Tools and parts. Yeah, there's not much else that we can do in there. Okay, so I have something to eat. Right away. Let me use some first aid supplies. And get our medical skill up in a little bit. So we to another level. Yeah, very far off. We'll get the EXP bonus of examining all of the weapons in one go a little bit later on. 
Uh, so was there anything else that we wanted to do? So we need to save up advanced circuitry to make sure that we get our engineering devices going on because I want to have a look at what we can do when it comes to engineering stuff. Get some gumdrops. No, we haven't met any couriers yet. Okay. Okay. What is the time for us in game? It's in the PM. It's a little bit early. I'm just thinking if there's anything nearby that we want to go and check out. Mm, that's right. We forgot to get our little helper, so we might as well, whilst we have a few hours of daylight to burn, go and grab him. Switch over the old companions. See what we run into along the way as well. Nice. Feel equipped now. Got pistol. Shotgun. Go to Billy. Got pistol. Got shotgun. Got laser musket. I have a feeling that probably our best bet is going to be. Laser musket and shotgun, I imagine. With maybe like a high powered revolver pistol. Or like, we'll see what we can do with this um, service pistol. We could always go energy and also ballistics. I do like a few of those weapons, they do. Pretty sure the ammo for it is really, really expensive on those vice weapons. The ones that are similar to the gorse and shit. That scale on uh, damage threshold and energy weapon. One of these days I'd love to actually go through and uh, do another Brotherhood playthrough. So Brotherhood's always pretty fun. Start running around with pistols and revolvers to begin with and then upgrade to shotguns and then upgrade to like machine guns and shit. Feel like a, a soldier. But that, that's not Walton's life though, so got to stop thinking about that one. Walton's life is of solitude and robots. So, very happy that we're a third of the way there. Just need to get to 15 so that we can get the quest going on and get Automatron going on and we can get some robots. Start populating these uh these settlements. And I wonder if I might have to wait until all the way into the DLC to be able to actually get rid hey, of uh, some so, some of the settlers. Welcome back, sir. I do hope you were able to find some assistance in Concord. Nope. 
Nothing useful. I thought the chances may be a bit on the slim side. I realize that I'm no Mr. Gutsy, but if needed, I'd be honored to accompany you throughout the Commonwealth. Just say the word. Yeah, come with yes, me. Yes, of course. Lead the way, sir. Not to worry there, pup. Your martyr is in good hands. And dog boy. Yeah, you continue to chill at Red Rocket. Oh, awesome, Codsworth tolerates you. Wait, actually, can I send you to Sunshine Tidings? And will you count as a settler? Will I be able to trick the system? Let's go to Red Rocket. It's alright. See your dog meat, my boy. My pal, my rotten soldier. Hmm. It's just out in the open. So I'll just chuck it there for now. I'm still, like, still find it a little bit weird that it's like, yeah, we'll just block off the main entrance and put another door on. And the silent all is just like, no, I like, I like having different buildings, like having different entrances, so there's a little bit of a different flow in the area. Uh, yeah, maybe. Purely speculation at this point. Okay, so... Yeah, let's... Make our way back to Sunshine Tidings Co-op now that we have Codsworth. And we can continue on in the next session. So I reckon we can probably... Uh, we'll finish off Lexington. Go through there, loot that place. Kill a whole heap of the raiders that are in there. And get some more experience. Get some more levels. And get that one step closer to getting to the Automatron DLC. Because we need robots. We don't need these pathetic humans. Their weaknesses in their flesh. I want bots that can work all the way through the night. Hmm. The update. For oh, shit. Prime cart. Mm, got a batting helmet. Custom Magnum Pistol. Ooh. Okay. Expecting to find you so early. Radar. 
Ready to legs. Yeah, as I was uh, about to say, is that I really appreciate the um, the next gen update as well for Fallout 4 itself. Like I can definitely see and feel the difference. How smooth some of the interactions are. But I'm also like, is it just the enhanced lighting and weather effects that I uh, downloaded that Silent Hill? It's generously made for us to enjoy. Or is it the update? Like I don't know which one's which. What what's what's making it look so good? I think it'd just be a combination of all of them. Got good performance, got good textures, got good lighting now. Because as long as this game's modded, looks great. Especially needs the EMB. Definitely, definitely helps. Home. Okay, nothing for that. Still all the junk. All that crystal meat in there. Custom 357 pistol, that's 28 damage. Pretty sure that takes big caliber weapons that I, uh, uh, not weapons, ammo that I can't make just yet. Uh, get rid of that, get rid of that. I'll definitely be wearing the batting helmet. I'll have a look at this armor as well. We're just all in blue. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, can't use the metal. Use the radar. Yeah, the ruined stuff I can't use at all. Is there anything else I can do? Any other upgrades? one as well. Engineer, Gunners, Biohazard, Institute, Light. Let's have a look at Engineer. Let's see what that is. I actually haven't seen these ones before. Looks like I'll have to take our backpack off to be able to see it. 
Okay, it's got the little gear. That's right, can't see any of it anyway. I think, seeing as it's definitely going to make sense for us to not be in bright freaking colors. It's going to be sticking out like a sore thumb. Have a look and see how extreme the black is. What do we want? Grey. Mind the green. Looks all right. What trim do we want? Green. Let's see what orange looks like. Changed anything? Doesn't really look like it. Oh well. I look like a proper survival technician at the moment. And very, very soon we should 100% sell some of this stuff. I am my... my glasses. Take them. Tag this stuff so it goes at the top. I don't have to worry about accidentally flicking it over. And the logos are not 100% adding up. Damn. So we've layer one, we've got crafted cloth lining that we have to make. Okay, let's have a look. Another one. Uh, universal crafting station, clothing and armor. Material, make a little bit of welding supplies. Turn two of them, tailoring. Need adhesive in order to get those ones going on. I don't mind checking out the um, Ranger helmet T45 made working in science. We can check those ones out a little bit later, see if we can actually craft it. Can make some power arm a little bit later. Now there will be not much else that we can make. Don't have any adhesive. Yep, and sun's getting low. Okay. Yeah, it's about that time. So we've got Codsworth now. We've got our goal to go to Grey Garden. We definitely should go down there and at least make an attempt to do some of those quests. We'll do that quest and then we can get our first settlement going on. And get our first lot of robots. And get some technicians and engineers and all that jazz going on. And get them supplied with supply kits after that.
So, yeah. All right. Well, thank you for joining me today. And I'll catch you all on the next one. Bye, 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 bye. Thank you for watching today's adventure. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe and like. And uh, yeah, check out my Patreon in the description below. And I'll catch you all on the next one. Bye.